Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Continuation of a video regarding the uh, Tramp Wand, the new uh, remote. I anticipated and I believe this thing will be absolutely awesome, but let's find out. The best way forward is to actually test one out. So I have decided to install this remote onto my uh, Beast DIY board. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, take a look at my channel, The Beast on the Leash. Very interesting uh, concept. Uh, so, this video will be interesting for people uh, who already asked me to make a video on how to install everything and make the remote work. And also for people who are not using VESC uh, EC from uh, Trampa, the actual VESC uh, uh, unit. Uh, I'm using VESC based uh, unit by Flipsky, which is 6.6+. .6 plus. Let's do this from scratch. I have not pre-done, pre-made anything. Uh, everything is still in the package, so it's going to be as new for me as for you guys. Let's see if it works and if we can make it work really, really fast. So if you have not seen my original or the first video on this remote, the unboxing, so what you get in the box is uh, the remote itself. Uh, step number one is install uh, AAA batteries underneath this carbon fiber uh, little hatch, which is quite easy to do. Um, you will get uh, three different leads uh, with your uh, NRF dongle. So the difference is, guys, that for this remote we're not using a PPM signal. So I already opened up my uh, uh, Beast Vesk uh, enclosure. So what you see here, guys, is uh, neatly glued away a PPM uh, receiver right here. So this receiver is going to go away. Uh, I need to take some cables off because this is the receiver from the uh, Maytech uh, waterproof remote, which I've got a uh, full review uh, on as well. And it's wired into my uh, power on the VESC because it gives me the uh, battery reading as well. So this is going. Um, I also do use a Metro Pro dongle uh, to communicate with the board. And uh, yeah, this dongle right here, quite nice, but unfortunately he's going to have to go as well because you guys do need an NRF dongle to make this Tramper remote work with your board. So, let's get rid of the bits we don't need. So guys, now I have cleaned up the uh, EC. I've got the uh, Metro Pro dongle uh, uninstalled and also the uh, PPM uh, receiver. Uh, with the antenna uninstalled and VESC is back to just having the motor uh, sensors and obviously the uh, motor leads connected so the next step we do is uh, we take one of the leads provided with the uh, remote and the dongle and we connect it to the comms uh, on the dongle you got another um, set of uh, cables that comes with it this is in case if you guys did not purchase uh, the dongle together with the new remote, with this remote right here, uh, and you are still using the older version or older software uh, on your dongle, you will need to um, uh, flush or upgrade uh, the uh, dongle you got. And if you carefully refer back to the manual that comes with the uh, uh, Trumper remote, it tells exactly how to do it. I don't have to, uh, because I've purchase the dongle together with the remote so I'm not using the SWD port uh, because it is for uh, programming it's only so comms plugs in into comms on the uh, EC one thing that I have noticed is that the uh, connector that comes on the dongle or comes with the dongle is uh, smaller than the connector on the uh, EC so it has one larger one plug extra on here. So what we do is uh, we match the ground cable on the uh, dongle connection uh, to the connector on the EC. Uh, refer back to the um, EC manual, which tells you exactly uh, what the connections are. So number two we're looking at. So this is the uh, third from the right cable or connector. Sorry. And we need to match it to the black uh, wire on the uh, dongle because if you refer back to the dongle itself, it tells you that that is the ground. So ground to the ground. 
but pretty much if you're using flip sky you just plug it in uh, all the way to the right and you'll have one uh, connection empty here because as I said on the EC the connector is longer so guys the NRF uh, dongle is now connected one thing to do is to make it safe I'm using a piece of 35 millimeter uh, heat uh, shrink tube I'm going to put this over uh, the dongle I might actually just uh, heat it up a little bit just to make it sit we go now I know that nothing will short out when I tuck the dongle away into the enclosure so next step guys is uh, to get this uh, whole thing set up and as I said I haven't done this before we're going to do it together so now we're going to take our phones and we're going to upload a VESC tool on our phones it's an app that you can get in a Play Store at least for Android uh, it is pound 99 uh, you have to pay for it or you can use uh, your PC VESC tool, but I really want to try this uh, app, never tried it before. Uh, if this dongle works out well, I might just use it in every single board uh, from now on, because uh, yeah, it, it is very promising. So let's do it. So guys, the next step, um, hopefully you can see the screen uh, nicely. So you got the VESC tool uh, on your phone now. Uh, we're going to power on the VESC. The VESC is now powered on, so the dongle uh, will be powered on as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, we're going to scan. Uh, I've named my uh, NRF dongle. This is the beast. Uh, yeah, because that's the board. We're going to connect to it. There we go. It's all connected. I did have a message earlier coming up that my firmware was not up to date, so I have updated it using this uh, tool and uh, yeah, ran the whole thing model detection and everything else using the phone quite cool first time for me first time using this but found it really easy so uh, do not touch your remote just leave it resting nice and flat somewhere um, we're going to then go into the input in an input um, it's going to ask you what VESC is your input dongle connected to this is my uh, VESC here number 97 next and then it's going to give you a choice of um, connections and we are going for NRF that's one right there next and now it's going to give you a warning note it's telling you pretty much you got 10 seconds so your remote right now is off don't touch it as soon as you press OK uh, your VESC will start pairing up to your remote or a dongle to your remote whatever way so we're pressing OK and now uh, you got the count uh, of time as you can see here 10 seconds we're now turning the remote on by switching any button and straight away on the screen you'll see NRF pairing successful OK and we are now going to uh, finish I think you don't have to touch anything here control type current uh, current no reverse no we don't want that so it's current uh, positive ramping time guys I don't know uh, much of that stuff here at all so I'm gonna leave it as it is I might get into uh, all of these uh, settings a bit later when I know exactly what I'm doing but right now video is strictly about uh, connecting the wand uh, to your 6.6 uh, .6 plus or any VESC uh, based EC so we are now done we're going to disconnect there we go we're all done so hopefully <laughs> now it's the moment of truth the wand flip sky 6.6 .6 plus uh, everything done very quickly and using the phone and here we go one two three please work and now we are spinning back because this is the way the brakes are on here not just that the motors stop they start reversing as well so if you are on a really deep uh, he uh, steep hill the brakes don't just stop the motors actually giving it power to start spinning backwards awesome awesome thing so here we go guys that's it the wand is operational fully operational on my uh, beast board what I'm using the flip sky 6.6 .6. absolutely brilliant 
the more I touch this remote, uh, the more I like it. It's absolutely nice and awesome little tool. Brilliant, guys. So, well happy. Uh, Trumper, well done. Uh, yeah, everyone who had input in creating this uh, lovely tool here. That's brilliant. Brilliant. It's working. I was, uh, for the first time uh, today, I've used the uh, VESC app. I've used uh, the uh, Trumper and a ref dongle for the first time I can see on the app here that you got all sorts of uh, data you can see as well uh, on your board let me show it to you closer just for people uh, who never used this before but when you spin your board ah I'm disconnected sorry guys that's why you won't see it right now um, let's connect quickly there we go so what you can see is uh, your RPMs, your voltages, all sorts of data flicking across and that was so quick as well guys uh, yeah whoever doesn't use this dongle yet on the ref uh, I would definitely recommend it it's absolutely brilliant even though I do have the uh, Metal Pro as well which is quite nice uh, and I'm used to it so I know how to work with it and I know how to uh, set the board quickly on uh, more amps and everything else still have to work out the way this dongle works but I think I'll get there very very soon yes that's it guys so I hope you like this video I hope this will give you a bit of more confidence that yes uh, this one does work with non uh, expensive vesks like tramper vesks yes uh, Chinese ones like flip sky do work with them as well absolutely brilliant so I will test out this uh, reverse uh, uh, features as well uh, so just to show you uh, sorry I'm rambling on because as I said no script to the video uh, if you go reverse and it's quite easy to go reverse on this remote I believe we just click in this button twice here we go there's an R on the remote now and now you are going reverse simple as that one thing that worried me a little bit that if I go to cruise control one of my motors just spins up like crazy this is in cruise control so I don't know what it's all about I need to deal with that unfortunately uh, but if anyone knows why it's doing this uh, Lee Wright you're probably the uh, best person to ask I go to cruise control look uh, reverse we go cruise control And she does that I don't know but besides that that could be my it could be my desk uh, nothing else guys so don't panic uh, but yes that's it for this video so won't does work with any other desk based uh, uh, ECs and as this remote I'm going to tell you in a second powering off bye <laughs> very nice